what is up land bank property owners what's up team uh i'm here today to show you guys my land bank purchase uh it's a four bedroom let's uh get to the porch i we purchased this property for twelve hundred dollars and uh as you can see here quite a bit of work it's already been started we gotta do some place two boards there we put the window in put the doors in the door here we put in we started scraping the walls we got the wife in the truck next video you guys will see her put this window in trying to get some lighting for you guys and some focus here's one room I checked the carpet to see if there were hardwood and there's board under there so I'll have to go back carpet it's hardwood under this floor but the bathroom there completely gutted kitchen we've already started gutting um, we took out the cabinets a countertop we're gonna start taking the cabinets out up top um, I think what I'm gonna do is save this backsplash just to save me some time and clean it and uh, we'll just use the backsplash for now until you know we uh, some more money and be able to do it correctly and we got a hole here we've already put the electrical box in got my wires ran it came and took all the wires out just had my main installed yesterday so she's she's ready got some plumbing to do it was way worse down here this is a uh, let's get some flash on for you guys this was a uh, way worse basement it was mattresses um, just man I got the water the water main line did they had cut the line got that did it's up to cold so when they come out and inspect that you'll see I'm not playing no games. I'm ready to get this house uh, rehab for me and my family. There's the gas. So however they figure that out, I'm not sure. This flash is pretty good for you guys. Some critter was living there. See a little brick concrete work. Ain't too bad. Um, I got some cracks in the foundation. I don't know a way to take care of that. Um, it's kind of, I gotta make the crack a little bigger and it's, it takes some time, but um, it's a day's job. So the, just so that water and moisture isn't coming around like here. You gotta take care of that. But this seems to be the, really the only spot where the water is sitting at. Got a little bit of moisture. Right there needs to be taken care of. Got some free pecs already. <laughs> and this would be where the furnace would go. We'll go here. Furnace and hot water tank. show you guys upstairs where the kids will be sorry I just have to keep focusing this camera for you guys because I want you guys to actually see the potential this is another room here another room it's pretty pretty big Leading upstairs, 
there is three rooms up here. Um, I keep forgetting about this little small room. My wife has already cleaned it up up here. This is the room with the leak. I've put a tarp up there. And so the water seems to be staying away. So this is the room. Which, as you can see, those are boards. So I had to get rid of all this wood. It's really rot, rot because it'll make that mold grow back. I could put some kilts on it, but I don't, I don't want anything coming back. So I'm gonna do this room real thorough. And here is another room. Um, this is a nice spacious room where the kids can't complain. Um, a little Crawl space needs to be cleaned out. Uh, I've never been in here. This is my first time with you guys. You can tell it's not even cleaned out. But there is a hole there. And that would be a closet. I need to address that because of the leak. As you guys can see. I've got no boarding there. Sorry about that, guys. And uh, it's another closet. I came and took that pipe. Took the pipe out. Uh, took that pipe. where that leak was. It's not wet, so it's a good sign. This I'm not sure. But I think he just took the copper piping out. I'm not sure if there's a leak, but I'll have to find out. But, I mean, for the most part, most of these walls in here would be knocked out. Um, I know this whole section of wall I wanna knock out. I kinda wanna do this wall too as well. Knock out, um, knock out. Uh, so I'll have one, two, this would be three sheets of drywall here. Um, if I knock this wall out, then I knock this wall out too as well, because it's weak. Um, I think this one may be okay. That's some paint chippings. Yeah, this one's okay too. That's okay. Yeah, this wall has to go. Possibly that one too as well. It's kind of soft. I think this one's strong. Um, so yeah, just a few walls in here. These walls are okay in here. Um, I don't know if I told you guys we put that window in. So that's really like the first of the work that you know that I showed you guys. That's really all the work we started on. Um, once we get power and do our, uh, we have a uh, we have to do the signing uh, this month. So once we do signing, get DTE over here, turn the power on. Um, we will be because you know in Detroit they will. The moment you start bringing materials in, they're coming and taking, and they're taking out the house. So um, doors to be stripped, windows to be stripped, 
uh, you know, and I really don't have time for that. This is actually for my family. Um, so we're going to be moving in um, right when we, we start getting that stuff uh, turned on, um, you know, and so water will be a, a slow roll, but that'll start getting turned on and uh, we'll, we'll just be um, every day is, a, is, is a doing something on the house every day, um, just getting it for compliance and uh that way we can uh, have our home we'll have the lien lifted off our home um th through the land bank uh but we are very excited uh we just i just wanted to do a video um just to start and show you guys uh this is 2022 and uh, detroiters are still taking uh opportunity of the land bank uh and we're not an investor. We are regular, normal citizens um, of Detroit. And we are happy to be able to take, and well, we're happy to have the opportunity to be able to be in a land bank program. Um, my mom kind of did something like this back in the day, but it wasn't like the home was like in a disarray. Um, she had a beautiful home ready for you know you move your family in and uh we ended up losing that home uh back when a lot of homes in the city were going through foreclosure i think she had bought it through hood homes and uh a lot of the homes were going through foreclosure this was one of the homes that went through foreclosure uh during like 08 um so a lot of homes went into foreclosure that that uh that that subject a lot of families to have to move out, you know, and from their home. And they're, they've been homeowners for a long time. Uh, that trailer came with the property. Uh, this yard is very big. Let's go upstairs and show you guys. Um, I have this way. I have, it's a very, very big, big backyard. Uh, it's, it's a lot more land and family members got in they have houses in Southfield and, and and stuff and I have a lot of land um so if you guys you know you see the fence line over there you see the fencing over there okay and I don't know if maybe I can get this window open but it's a lot of shrub where you won't be able to necessarily tell but it goes back there. Um, this is the biggest yard I have ever had, and I got a lot of work to do. So, by it being you know so much yard, I am happy. I can't complain about how much yard I have, and it's just so big. Um, so, so um, you calculate it. You calculate it. This could be a little room. A nursery room or something um so if you calculate it, it's about a five bedroom uh or a four and a half if you want to say this is a half bedroom uh I'll, you know but you guys see the potential you know and this is the hallway got the hole there from the leak you know i gotta bust up all this drywall for the stairway um stairwell way um and some of this wall is uh, for the bathroom too as well because the bathroom is on the other side of that wall. So because of the mold and the moisture and stuff like that, and I don't want my kids inhaling that or breathing that in. And a lot of this carpet has to go. So like I said, but you guys see, this is that leak I was talking about. And there's a freaking light in the attic. It's different. You don't see that too much. I have never had a, a light in my attic. But there's no light in this room. It might be. This is your drop ceiling. But the light is a light switch. So I'm guessing maybe there or something. Lights there. But enclosed porch. That is. Has some beautiful wood. But as you guys see the potential. So if you guys want to see more of this, uh, we're going to upload 
uh, just more of the rehab and, and stuff like that. Um, just to show you guys our process and our work and that uh, we mean what we say. Uh, no one's helping us hey, get a load of queen. That's my beautiful dog. It's my daughter. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're, we're not getting help or anything. So it's just a couple thing. And like I said, uh, just stay tuned. Um, if you guys need some motivation and stuff like that, just, just rock with us and stay tuned because you guys got a lot to see. Um, we, we, we started working on our house right when they took the first thousand deposit. So right when they started doing that, you know, we came in, we started, um, doing what we needed to do, get the doors up, uh, secure it. I found a hundred dollar window. This window was a hundred bucks. Then the guy charged me a hundred to put it in. So, uh, but you know, I got some more windows. Um, but like I said, guys, I have this window right here. I'm just waiting to put it in. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want to do too much just yet and I'm not fully here at the property, but I'll be here, uh, this month. I plan on being here fully committed, move a couple cars here. Um, and maybe, uh, a dog. And, uh, as, as time go on, you know, this month we are moving in. Um, because it, it's just too much goes on and I, I can't feed someone else's table because they want to come in and steal because they don't have a job. I can't do it. So you guys stay tuned, uh, land bank team and see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like comment, subscribe. See you guys soon.